Hello students, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I am going to discuss in brief about ion exchange process which is also known as deionization process or demineralization process. Ion exchange process is suitable for the treatment of boiler feed water. Since through this method, the hardness can be removed up to 2 ppm. In general, ion exchange process involves the exchange of both the cations and the anions with H plus and OH minus ions respectively. In this method, cation exchange resin and anion exchange resins are used. Cation exchange resin is generally represented by the formula RH. Here the H plus ions can be easily replaced with hardness producing cations such as calcium and magnesium. Whereas anion exchange resin can be represented as R prime OH. Here OH minus ions can easily replace the hardness producing anions such as bicarbonate, sulfate and chloride. So coming to the ion exchange process, generally it involves the use of both cation exchange bed and anion exchange bed. Initially, the hard water is passed through the cation exchange bed. Here what happens? The H plus ions are being replaced by the calcium and magnesium ions and the treated water is now passed through the anion exchange bed. Here the OH minus ions will replace Cl minus sulfate and bicarbonate ions present in the water and finally we will get the soft water. So coming to the chemical reactions involved in cation exchange bed here the cation exchange resin can be represented as RH so the H plus ions will be replaced by the calcium and magnesium ions so after some time the cation exchange bed consists of calcium and magnesium resins and it also results in the formation of H plus ions. Coming to the anion exchange bed, it replaces its OH minus ions with hardness producing anions such as chloride, sulfate and bicarbonate. And hence finally it results in the formation of chloride resin along with the formation of OH minus ions. So finally the treated water contains H plus and OH minus ions. So the result in the formation of pure water. So whenever the hard water is passed through the cation exchange bit, the H plus ions are replaced by the calcium and magnesium ions whereas the Cl minus ions sulfate and bicarbonate ions are replaced by the OH minus ions. Finally, it results in the formation of H2O which is completely devoid of all types of ions and hence this water is called as deionized water or demineralized water. So, after some time when all the H plus ions are replaced by the calcium or magnesium ions then the cation exchange bed is called as exhausted. So that cation exchange bed can be regenerated by washing with dilute HCl or by washing with dilute sulfuric acid. Then it supplies H plus ions and with the result these calcium and magnesium ions can be easily replaced by the H plus ions and again it results in the formation of cation exchange resin. Similarly, the anion exchange resin can be regenerated by washing with 
NaOH solution. So whenever the exhausted anion exchange bed is washed with NaOH solution, then the Cl minus sulfate or bicarbonate ions present in the resin are being replaced by the OH minus ions and thus it again results in the formation of anion exchange bed. So in this way both cation exchange resin and anion exchange resin can be regenerated. So coming to the advantages of ion exchange resin, the hardness can be removed up to 2 ppm and it is suitable for the treatment of both acidic and alkaline water. Coming to the disadvantages, this technique is costly and it is not suitable for the water having turbidity greater than 10 ppm. That means turbidity should be less than 10 ppm. If you like the video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.